already there was an accident. You okay? She doesn't want to be on camera though. Okay, that's okay. Yes. Oh my god. Look at this. Explain the inspiration behind this. <laughs> there he goes. There he goes. Oh my goodness. Look at him go. He's swimming away, folks. He is swimming away. Wow. <laughs> Here we go. Hi, how are you? Thank you, thank you. I'm recording today. Death worm. It looks cool. Yeah. A death worm that poisons people, has sharp teeth and whatnot. So basically, it's supposed to be a worm in the desert, Gobi Desert. Or say they're like from this big to like 30 feet. Okay, Becky, where's your pizza? What? Where's your pizza? So it's it's really the oh, and if I'm dark enough, yeah, you're I, uh, Frankie, do you want to explain a little bit about the pieces you chose and what was the inspiration behind them? Uh, my first piece is a pixie and I was going through a, a very tough moment where I was very angry. So she didn't end up well. She was burned at, up at the stake after being tortured. I imagined this uh, battle between pixies and fairies and she was a victim of this uh, war. She was, kidnapped, she was captured and tortured to get information and then she was burned at a stake in the use of a magnifying glass. The poor pixie. <laughs> and then the manticore, because uh, I've been working with uh, uh, skeletons so far, that's my voice right now, and I, I thought it was super interesting, a creature that has a human head, the body of a lion, the tail of a scorpion, oh and God wings like a dragon. I, it was super cool to research different kind of skeletons and yeah. find a way to put them together. It, it's a creature that can be found in India. Okay. So I was sent there with my supervisor, Tanke. Uh, unfortunately, my supervisor didn't make it. I got stretched badly. I still have oh. uh, a, a little, a, like a big injury oh. on my head. We were able to capture alive, and now it's uh, traveling worldwide with the surface. Wow! How long have you been an agent for? I can't say. Yeah. Top secret. Sorry. I can. Yes, I <laughs> understand completely. I can't say much more about the next mission. I'm. I'm just saying that uh, it's gonna be dangerous. Yes. And there will be blood. <laughs> we thank you so much for your work and for protecting us from these creatures um, and in your research and you know you devoting your life to this this is my life now yes and do you have people that can that protect you no it's just me and my dog so brave frankie frankie oh my god it's just um, so much for risking your life and sitting down and being on camera <laughs> Jake Moberly, 
Um, he's a featured artist here at The Hive. Uh, I'm an oil painter, and it's surreal at its heart. So everything comes from subconscious onto the canvas. The forms that I make through that process I develop from a charcoal sketch up through underpainting layer upon layer of oil paint until you get what you see yeah. down there before you. A lot of it comes from my education. It was a really, really traditional program. So one of the pieces down there today is a master copy of a Peter Paul Rubens painting called Fall of the Damned. Yeah. Just, I learned a huge amount about constructing a painting yeah. and well, sort of conjuring figures mm -hmm. the way that he did. So it kind of serves as the centerpiece for what I am doing with my work now. Hi, Jeremy. These are Scott, the Sasquatch tonight. Tell me about your piece tonight, Jeremy. The Fresno Nightcrawler. How long did it take you to make it? A day? you to make uh, your cryptid today? Uh, well, I mean, it's a cryptid show, yes. so <laughs> it's kind of a given, but uh, yeah, but specifically the Mothman. Yeah. I just think it's interesting that it was actually something that was in the news, in the newspaper. I love that there's so much speculation to it, which I absolutely am obsessed with. I don't know if it's, you know, actually an alien an entity thing. Or, yeah. You know, just something actually feral that's running around, and yeah. that's, you know, mauling people or whatever. Yeah. It's just the speculation, the mystery of it that really attracts me nice. to that character, yeah. Nice. To that cryptid, yeah. It's made out of Super Sculpey <laughs> and uh, like mixed materials. Like, I try to use uh, actual feathers on it. Yeah. So I try to do plants and stuff into my pieces. It just kind of grounds everything. So yeah. It kind of gives it like a fantasy and then it, it gives some realism to that. So. Yeah.